in this video I wanted to congratulate Anthony for an amazing job with his swing and hopefully it offers you some insights into uh, your game and perhaps how some of these elements may help you. So original swing on the left here, um, a lot of this is built around posture and stance and the concept of turn. So the original one here, we've got really straight arms and actually the lower half position isn't uh, the most isn't the most optimal to allow me to move correctly so we'll kind of go a little bit deeper into that but essentially from here with very straight arms his concept was trying to turn his shoulders and take the club behind him to create more of a shallow swing and power so the club and the arms travel too much behind his body which you'll see from the from the back angle and then when he comes down from here again the, the concept was turning through mostly for, for power and as he comes in he actually turns in with what we call quite a um, a steeple or a shoulder position that looks like it's pointing toward the ground and actually what you'll see here when he comes down both knees are quite close together and he looks quite cramped for room so we've got the knees in the arms looking quite close to him and the whole neck and shoulder area quite cramped as well so this is a bit of a stuck or trapped position and the club's coming in too vertically when we look from the back angle so from here some adjustments need to be made to get the contact on the ball so from here he'll kind of have to stand up his, his right arm will work underneath his left arm and there's a gap in between his both of his arms and his, his wrists are bending a little bit here so um and then when he as we get onto the follow through we'll see the left elbow very high which indicates kind of like a scooping um stroke holding off action through the ball so the new one we've worked on posture straightening the back out getting a bigger gap in between the arms so widening the elbows shoulders back and actually getting his right toe and his right knee turned out a lot more to help how his lower half works so then as he gets to the top of the swing um, the concept was that we changed his arm direction so less around and more in the middle of his body which gives him a different shoulder turn and actually at the top of the swing now he, his, his right knee and his lower half look considerably different and so does his arms and, and the turn now in the new one when he comes down he can lean into the shot, his left shoulder will go up more, there's, there's a bigger gap in between his legs and he, as he gets to this point he won't look kind of cramped in. So this is a very different look in the kind of head, shoulder area, neck area along with the legs. So because of this and because the club's now coming in shallow or less vertical, what we see from the front angle he'll hit with his left arm looking much straighter as you can see here. Then on the way through his right arm will start to work over his left arm which is more how it should look and his shoulders can turn in the correct direction there's no jumping up at strike and this is the correct turn through the ball whereas the one on the left feels like he's turning but it's kind of more just kind of jumping and, and having a gap in the arms and and getting kind of a scooping holding off action and to achieve this turn really for anything this just feels like he's swinging the club down and then getting taller so the 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 piece that allows him to turn through correctly is more the extension or tall feel and it's actually the, the momentum of the club swinging that's turning his shoulders and pulling him through, rather than him trying to force the turn. 